You guys, it's race day. My sister is getting pita pit right now for her pre-race fuel. My stomach is actually really sensitive to food, so when I'm running or when I'm racing, I can't really eat a lot before, so I'm just gonna do oatmeal with a scoop of protein. So I'll have my carbs and my protein, which is good. But my sister's getting pita pit, and then we are going to drive to Lake Elsinore for the race, and I'm so excited. Like, I'm usually super nervous for races, but this one just seems like a fun race, so I'm really excited. I know my sister's a little nervous, but it's gonna be fun, and I'm I'm excited, like I keep saying. Oh, and this shirt, Hope Nutrition, if anyone is in the uh, South Bay area, it's a meal prep company, and it's so nice because they make your meals, deliver them to you on Sunday, and you have healthy meals for the whole week, and I like them, I eat them. I had it last week, and my brother's eating them this upcoming week, and they're delicious. So yeah, I'll see you at Thrace. Do you think you need to take off your bread? Set? I think I need to redo it. How does it is it? Did it might look cute? I think yours is cute. Yeah, I think it's a practice rope. Ooh, the perfect shaker. What are those? Fire jump. What's the turquoise? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Are you ready? I'm not so nervous about the races not being able to do it, but you get really muddy. And I'm not looking forward to it. You think you're going to get muddy? You have to go under that thing. <laughs> and if you can't do an obstacle, you have to do 30 burpees, so I might just do 30 burpees. Is anybody going to tell you no? Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Uh, so what, a, what do you think your favorite obstacle is going to be? Do you have like a method or a plan of action? How are you going to do it? Um, well, first I'm going to try running and jumping, but if that doesn't work, I'm going to stunt Taylor to the top, and then Taylor is going to pull me up. Nice. Good. That's good so, teamwork. Good idea. We'll would you see. Would you like ever think of just like climbing on someone else's, like jumping on someone else's shoulders that was nearby and going well, up? if there's someone on all fours, I might run and leave on him. <laughs> like um, if they fell down or something. Yeah, because <laughs> by those well, get a little boost. Right, but, uh, exactly. We'll see. We'll run around.
the Boca. Sons and daughters of Sparta, I bid you to stand. Stand and fight. More dry than the others? Just pull yourself, forget the rope. Just use your arm. <laughs> forget the rope. <laughs> no, you have to use your feet. Kick your feet up, Meg. <laughs> yeah, walk it down, man. Perfect. Easy. after the race I just took a shower and got all that mud off of me so sorry for the hair and I know that footage was kind of all over the place it was hard for my parents to film because you run it was like f four miles and so we kind of like run out on the course and do obstacles where they don't see us and so you couldn't see everything but uh, it was nice of them to try and film it and I know after the race it was kind of chaotic, but I just kind of wanted to talk about it a little. Um, so Spartan races, there's like different levels of it. This was our first one. We didn't train for it or anything. We just decided to sign up because it's a race we've always wanted to do. And so we signed up for the sprint one and there's 22 obstacles. Uh, there's a bunch of different obstacles. Like you had to jump over walls, you had to like carry boulders and flip tires and and climb ropes and crawl under barbed wire and and like I don't know there's there's a ton I don't know why I'm blinking there's obviously there's 22 obstacles but I probably only named like seven of them but uh it was fun and I I kept saying this I think the reason I really liked this race was because 
in most races you're like super competitive and you're you know you kind of want to be better than your competitor the person that you're racing against you don't really want to help them because you want to beat them but this one was just like everyone was there to help each other like I would not have been able to do those all of those obstacles without my sister I wouldn't have been able to finish without her because some of them it was like there's this one where you had to pull this rope to pull this sled and the sled kind of goes in little ditches and once it gets in a ditch it is so hard to pull the sled over over the hump like I tried so hard by myself and I couldn't do it and without my sister being there to help me pull the rope over the over the hump I wouldn't have been able to do it and if you can't do an obstacle you have to you have to do 30 burpees and that would have sucked but my sister was there to help me and so I was able to do it and like for example there is a bunch of walls you had to jump over the highest wall was an eight foot wall and so my sister and I had a strategy I would we would go to the wall I would boost her over and then I would jump up myself to get over and then she would help pull me up and it was like a strategy and it was so cool because on one of the walls it, when it was eight feet that's like really tall for a tiny person to jump over but I was up on the wall about to get over and just some random guy I didn't even get to see him he was behind me standing he just ran up to the wall himself and he just didn't even ask he just boosted me over like just out of kindness like he just came up and boosted me right over and I thought that was so cool and then so once my sister and I got over that wall there was another eight foot wall that we got up to and there was this guy struggling his friend was at the top of the wall cheering him on like come on you can get up the wall you can do it you can do it but he just he could not do it and so my sister and I go up to him and we're like hey do you want to boost like we can stunt you over the wall and and he was like so so surprised and so happy and graciously he took our offer I was afraid he wasn't going to but he did and so my sister and I we thankfully we did cheerleading so we know how to do a proper stunt and we we boosted him over the wall and he was able to get over and then my sister and I just did our normal technique to get ourselves over but it was just so cool because it was a race where it's like you really want to help your people and and without each other you wouldn't you wouldn't really be able to finish all the obstacles and so it was just a fun race it was hard when I was taking a shower I found out I have like scratches and bruises all over myself let's see um, I don't know if you can see there's like scratches on my arms and on my stomach and just bruises all over and I actually I don't I don't bruise very easily at all so that was showing you it's a, it was a pretty tough race and it was just so much fun it was on my sister and uh, my bucket list and so I'm happy we got to check that one off and again sorry for like the random footage but I still want to show you guys a little behind the scenes so I want to put this video together so anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I really recommend signing up for one. It was fun. Like, anyone can do it. Just just have friends to do it with, and it, it made it a lot better. So, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.